Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series to represent the function f of x which is x minus x square in the interval 0, 2 pi. Now, the Fourier series formula is f of x is a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Now let's take a naught. Its formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. Now 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is x minus x square into dx. Now this on integration we get x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and limit is from 0 to 2 pi. Now substituting the upper limit it is 2 pi whole square by 2 minus 2 pi whole cube by 3 and lower limit gives 0. So this is 1 by pi, 2 pi whole square is 4 pi square by squaring individually and we have by 2. In the same way, 2 cube is 8 and pi cube is written as it is by 3. Now totally there is 2 pi common which can be taken out. When 2 pi is common, remaining actually we can cancel this first then we can take 2 pi. So when 2 pi is taken out, the remaining is only pi. And when 2 pi is taken out, remaining is 4 and pi square by 3. And we can cancel this. We have 2 outside. We are going to take LCM which is 3. So this is 3 pi minus 4 pi square. So we got A naught. Now as a next part, we are going to find A n which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos n x dx. So this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi and f of x is x minus x square into cos nx dx. So here we are going to use Bernoulli's formula for integration and this is u and this is v. So u dash is 1 minus 2x, u double dash is minus 2, u triple dash is 0 and integration of v is sin nx by n and next integration is minus cos nx by n square and next integration is minus sin nx by n cube. Now the Bernoulli's formula is integral u v dx becomes u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 and so on. Because u triple dash is 0 so we can take only these many terms. And now outside we have 1 by pi. Then open a bracket u v1 u is x minus x square v1 is sin nx by n minus u dash which is 1 minus 2x into v2 is minus cos nx by n square and u double dash is minus 2 and v3 is minus sin nx by n cube and we have to substitute the limit 0 to 2 pi and this becomes 1 by pi this is 2 pi minus 2 pi whole square is 4 pi square and sin 2 pi is always 0 so totally this is 0 minus 1 minus when I put 2 pi here it becomes 4 pi and cos n times of 2 pi is always 1 so minus 1 by n square 
and sin n times 1 2 pi is always 0. So last term we can ignore. Substituting the lower limit, here it is sin. So first term is 0. Cos 0 is 1. But we have other terms. When I put 0 here, we left with only 1 and minus 1 by n square. And last term there is a sign. So it is 0. Now, simplifying this further, 1 by pi, this term is 0 fully and uh, this minus and this we can cut and make it as plus 1 minus 4 pi by n square and uh, we can make this as plus and there is a again minus, so minus 1 by n square and there is a common denominator for these two terms. So finally, we get 1 by pi and we can take common denominator n square so it is 1 minus 4n minus 1 so these two terms get cancelled and even pi and pi also get cancelled so we left with minus 4 by n square this is our an in the same way we can find bn which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. So, 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi. This is x minus x square into sin nx dx. So, 1 by pi. Again, we are going to follow Bernoulli's formula. This is u and v. So, I have to substitute u v1. Let's find u that is u dash here which is 1 minus 2x u double dash is minus 2 u triple dash is 0. In the same way v1 is minus cos nx by n and now v2 is minus sin nx by n square and v3 is cos nx by n cube. Now using the formula, let us write the formula first. u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 dot dot dot. And this becomes 1 by pi. u is x minus x square into v1. So minus cos nx by n minus u dash which is 1 minus 2x into minus sin nx by n square plus u double dash which is minus 2 into v3 is cos nx by n cube. Now 0 to 2 pi is our limit. Now coming to this we have 1 by pi outside substituting 2 pi this become 2 pi minus 4 pi square cos n times of 2 pi is always 1 so minus 1 by n is remaining second term since there is a sign it is 0 and third term this is 1 so we left with minus 2 by n cube and coming to the lower limit 0, first term both are x so it is 0, this is sin so it is 0, we have this last one term remaining which is minus 2 into 1 by n cube and finally these two gets cancelled this plus 2 by n cube, this is minus 2 by n cube totally gets cancelled and 1 by pi we can take pi common from this actually 2 pi common so 1 minus 2 pi is remaining and minus 1 by n so these two we can cancel the total term remaining is minus 2 into 1 minus 2 pi by n we can also multiply this minus 2 inside and this becomes minus 2 plus 4 pi by n so, rewriting this, we get 4 pi minus 2 by n. Now, substituting this in our formula, f of 
x is a naught by 2. So a naught we got this. When I divide by 2, I can cancel this 2. So we will be left with 3 pi minus 4 pi square. 3 pi minus 4 pi square by 3. After cancelling the 2, the remaining term we have. So 3 pi minus 4 pi square by 3. Then plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n. So a n which we got here is minus 4 by n square. So minus 4 by n square into cos n x again plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity v n is 4 by minus 2 by n into sin n x. Thus we got the required Fourier series for the f of x.